coordinate systems have always been a useful tool in SOLIDWORKS, enabling things like one-click mating and assemblies to fully define the location of parts, defining special load cases in SOLIDWORKS simulation or other uses in add-ins, determining mass properties about a particular location, or managing the coordinate system for import or export. We've always been able to create coordinate systems under the reference geometry pull-down and defining a coordinate system on some point in the model, such as a sketch point or the origin of the model. I want to make sure I toggle on visibility of the coordinate systems so that I can see them. New for SOLIDWORKS 2022, we can define coordinate systems using X, Y, and Z coordinates. So I can define the position with numeric values and enter in an offset. As a modeling tool, coordinate systems are a lot more useful in 2022 because the individual components of them can be utilized. For instance, I can select any of the planes formed by two of the axes of the coordinate system. In this case, I can create a sketch on the ZY plane. If I do an extrusion, I can set this extrusion to up to surface and then choose a plane from another coordinate system. The coordinate systems can be edited. For instance, I could come back to this coordinate system and define also a rotation with the numeric values. Then my up to surface extrusion should update. I'm going to undo that change and let's look at how coordinate systems can also be used to reference their axes. If I want to do a revolved cut, I'll select the x axis of the coordinate system as a direction reference. I can also use this as a reference in a linear pattern. We can also define new planes offset from the plane of a coordinate system. Hopefully you can see how coordinate systems can now also be a valuable modeling tool inside SOLIDWORKS. Let us know in the comments section below how you've used coordinate systems and what type of content you'd like to see next.